What do you get when you combine Naruto and cats? Naruto. This is a set of 8 Naruto characters transformed into small vinyl figures and I got the whole set. Let's check them out together. This is actually the second set released by Mega House. I didn't get the first set because it sold out everywhere and I wasn't disappointed because this set had more of my favorite characters. So let's go through them in order of my favorites. First up, we have the Arrow Sening himself, Jiraiya. He is my favorite character and I took his death in the anime so bad I stopped watching afterwards. Second, we have Orochimaru, who to me is one of the best characters in anime or manga period. He is quite creepy as well, but unlike Jiraiya, he died cheaply and was tossed aside after being the big bad for much of the early part of the series. Third, I will go with Rock Lee. That Rock Lee vs. Gaara fight in the Chunin exams is a classic and another example of how the Naruto storyline was so much better and connected in the early parts of the series before the time jump. Next up we have Lady Tsunade, an alcoholic and a gambler that could punch you into next week but skilled enough to heal you to full health before you get there. She became the leader of the Hidden Leaf Village at a very important time. Zabuza, or the Demon of the Hidden Mist, was the first antagonist in Naruto. His arc really sold me on the series and showed me that this wasn't going to be some cherry flavored happily ever after story. Zabuza came to kill and would have murdered everyone if it wasn't for Kakashi's Sharingan. Haku was the weaker partner in the team with Zabuza, and the two had a complicated relationship. He sacrificed himself to try to win the battle for his master, and his death scene laying beside Zabuza is a real tearjerker. The star, the hero, the main character and the namesake of the series. Naruto as a character isn't that unique and takes on all the tropes of many shonen manga characters. He has just enough uniqueness to stand out on his own though and makes a great protagonist. This is where the Sasuke fans will try to burn down my house, but I wasn't a fan. His backstory is tragic, yes, but I didn't like his arc and I think he had the most plot armor of any character in the series. Feel free to change my mind in a comment below. Here are some pictures of the figures. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like so I know if you want more of these videos and it helps out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment below telling me your favorite Naruto character and don't forget to subscribe for more.